My name is Mohammed Hussain. I'm a esophageal and endoscopy fellow at Geyser St. Thomas's Hospital in London. And the work I'll be talking about has just been published in the GIE journal on the development of a computer-aided characterization system for the diagnosis of early cancer in Barrett's esophagus on magnification imaging. And this work was a collaboration between University College London, University College London Hospital, Odin Vision, and three other uh, Barrett centers in Europe, in Spain, Austria, and in Belgium. So why did we pursue in doing this work? Well, the first thing, as we all know, is that this, despite advances in endoscopic imaging, there is still a significant miss rate of early cancer in Barrett's esophagus. And these are patients where we can potentially offer curative endoscopic uh, therapy early. Now, zoom or magnification imaging is one of the new and novel tools in the endoscopist armory that can be used um, to the benefit of detection and diagnosis of early cancer. With zoom imaging, we have clearer uh, uh, imagery of the blood vessels and also the pit pattern in the Barrett's mucosa. Now, one of the issues is, is that some feel that the criteria using zoom imaging for the characterization for dysplasia is sometimes a bit complicated. And as a result, there is still a low uptake in many centers around the world with the use of Zoom. And as we know, AI is developed using patterns and the patterns in Zoom would be a much easier to develop and train an AI system. And therefore diagnosis uh, in early cancer and Barrett's would potentially be a lot clearer. So there were two main aims um, to performing the study and the, trying to develop this AI system to characterize the magnification imaging. Fold or step number one was to try and automate this process of making a diagnosis of early cancer on zoom imaging on eye scan or chrome endoscopy. And as a result, this would help hopefully increase the uptake of the use of magnification imaging in more centers. The second point, which I think is most important, is potentially with zoom or magnification imaging. This will help an endoscopist and an expert center to have clear resection margins. So you'd use the AI system with, with zoom imaging to assess around the edges of the lesion to make sure at the end of the endoscopic resection, whether it be EMR or ESD, all the early cancer is removed, therefore potentially minimizing the risk of recurrence in these patients. So in this study, we developed a neural network using almost 60,000 frames from 57 different patients with magnification imaging. We then um, tested this AI system on three iterations of a testing set. And this was to generate three different scenarios or three different conditions where an AI system will potentially perform in the real world. And to ensure that it will perform effectively in all these scenarios, depending on how an endoscopist would want to use the artificial intelligence system. So scenario one, we extracted 350 high quality still images of areas of magnification and early cancer. We then got the AI system to make a prediction on these imaging which it was able to do with a sensitivity of 94%. We then um, tested the ability of AI system to characterize um, dysplasia on all the av available frames, which was about 49,000 uh, different frames. And just to note, all the frames in the testing sets were in uh, optical enhancement or eye scan free. And that's because in the real world scenario, an endoscopist would make a prediction on Zoom using chromo endoscopy. And we wanted the AI system to mimic that world, real world scenario. So on about 49,000 frames, the AI system made a prediction or diagnosis of dysplasia with a sensitivity of 92%. And finally, in the third iteration of the data testing set, we extracted a, se a single sequence of frames per patient to reflect the real world scenario where an endoscopist would assess the esophagus of a patient and then will flick in the zoom on a specific area of the esophagus and assess a specific sequence of frames or specific sequence in an area of the patient's esophagus using, using um, eye, eye scan free or optical enhancement plus zoom. And this iteration of data set had about 11 and a half thousand frames and the sensitivity at this point was about 92%.
So the speed per frame was about 0 0.0135 seconds uh, per frame. So the idea and concept was that this would potentially develop and formulate part of a two-stage AI system. Step number one, an AI system which detects dysplasia um, on an overview image of the esophagus on white light using targeted biopsies. And we've published on this previously as part of our group, but also there's many other studies looking at this in AI and Barrett's esophagus. And then the second stage of the system, which is reflected in this publication in this article, is where magnification would kick in. So if there is an area of interest, you'd flick on the magnification imaging and AI system to confirm the diagnosis of dysplasia or go against that diagnosis, potentially minimizing unnecessary biopsies. So overall, the, the hope is that this AI system with magnification imaging would increase the rates of diagnosis of dysplasia and early cancer, would increase the uptake of units that are using magnification imaging as they wouldn't have to rely on criteria, which would be reliant on the vessels and pit patterns and how they look. And secondly, and most importantly, is hopefully it will help improve in terms of resection margins and ensuring that there is an R0 and complete resection of the early cancer uh, within the Barrett's esophagus. As with all these studies, I think the next stage in AI in Barrett's esophagus is um, prospective multicenter randomized controlled trials to validate all these um, findings before it then goes on um, uh, to work in endoscopy units in real time.